Anytime you're cruising around Sanibel, remember to look for this truly hidden gem, the pecking order. Bridget, one of the owners of the packing order, and um, what a story she has. So Bridget, will you tell us more about how you got started, you moved from... So it's an island fairy tale, that's what it is. So I moved here with my two children, sort of at the tail end of my divorce, and my parents lived here. So I was oh. familiar with the island, okay. it's my healing place. I originally had a restaurant on Captiva, so that was my previous life, and this restaurant here, was brainchild of my husband. I met my husband here 22 years ago on Sanibel, and his family has been doing chicken like this, the old fashioned broasted way. The broasted and the recipe is from his family back in the 70s. Mm -hmm. So when it was time for us to open a new restaurant, he decided to do the chicken and I just sort of wrapped a menu around it, which fits nicely on Sanibel because mostly you're gonna get high-end and seafood restaurants out here. Right. So that's what it is. And so the rice and beans recipe comes from our travels in Haiti. The green sauce, it's a garlic, cilantro, jalapeno. So these are our, our number one, two, and three sides. Very popular, our chicken and waffles. Mm. And that's our story. And Bridget's pies, which is me. So we've got the chocolate pie here. Thank you. Our most popular pies are the key lime cheesecake, banana cream, coconut cream. And there's something special about your mashed potatoes, too. Oh, well, yeah. Well, these two, like, the Mac is going to want to take ties with that. So they're number one and two. It, it is our number one side. It is my, a lot, a lot of tender, loving care goes into that grape. So you guys have been here at this location for how long? Eight years. Eight years. Yeah. Yeah. And so how I found it is we were renting bikes from Billy's, and we were just, you know, biking along, and we, like, Ron loves fried chicken. And you so. can smell it from the bike path? Probably. <laughs> I was like, let's go there. So we yeah. turned in and every time we're on the island, we come for fried chicken. Because it's got the best breasts on the island. The best breasts <laughs> on the island. Good thing you qualified that. Yeah. <laughs> and I can relate to the 70s recipe because when I was growing up as a kid, we'd always go to family reunions. And all of the aunts and moms would make the fried chicken. Yeah. So it's hard to find a good recipe like this uh, here in Florida. The broasting uh, method was invented in Wisconsin. Ron, what do you want to try first? I'm going to let Ron try these beans because it has spicy. And it's not crazy spicy. It's not? Okay. No, it's I'll very flavorful. It's a little smoky. Yes. Delicious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Delicious, delicious. And then, Ron, you got to have some chicken. Mm. I did do the recipe so that it's it's got a good smoky flavor to it, and it's vegan. Oh. The rice and beans and the collard greens. That, we don't get a huge vegan crowd, but I just had a lot of my collard uh, customers asking it without meat. Okay. Chicken is never frozen. Never. Never, never. frozen. Nope. See? Oh, my gosh. They make all their homemade sauces here too, and so they have little cups that you can take with you and try them. So while we're eating here, Miss Brandy comes in, and Bridget tells us she's one of the employees. So, Hi. Brandy, Hi. you work I here. Work here, and I, I love the food. It's so great, and it's my day off, so um, I wanted a little snack for football day, and so I come back to get the food when I'm not even working here. And wow. I'm also blessed to be able to help cook it. She, she uh, lets me in the kitchen a time or two, so it's really fun. So what are you going to bring to the football game today? I'm taking chicken. I'm taking collard greens. I'm taking, of course, mac and cheese. Yes. Got to take a chocolate pie. It's my husband's favorite. So I attest to the food. It's really great. I'm so the other thing I love about the pecking order is they have a heart for Haiti. So. Tell us more about that and how you got involved and how we can help. Okay. 
Uh, so when I met my husband 20 years ago, he was already going to Haiti um, to help out and build schools and churches through our local church. I've learned to like love all the children and they, I watch them grow up. We've got a map right there of where we go. We've got an example of them building, like they do everything by you know hand. So those ladders are made from scratch. People are always allowed to donate here. What we do is on our register, we actually have a, there's a prompt. When you check out on either register, it asks if you'd like to round up uh, for a donation or pick a different amount. We, we still go every year and like I said, build schools and churches and I sort of take care of the kitchen and the kids and the shopping. That's awesome. So. All right, Bridget, thank you so much My for pleasure having us out to eat. And uh, yes, we'll always come here when we're on the island. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dan and Bridget are looking forward to comforting your hearts, your bellies, and your souls through food and fellowship. There you have it. Another great Southwest Florida hidden gem brought to you by My, My Florida, Florida Happy, Happy Place. Place. And if you like this, make sure you share it with all your friends so that they can learn about this hidden gem as well. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube and Facebook for My Florida Happy Place and Hidden Gems of Southwest Florida.